Yo, what's going on people? Check it out. So I want to do a quick intro to this lesson so you guys can understand the context. So in this lesson, I'm talking about challenging yourself and the importance of being able to do that because sometimes when you're practicing alone, you don't have that person or you don't have that thing to push you to that next level because I get tons of questions all the time asking, how do I progress? How do I grow? I'm stuck at this plateau. I feel like I'm doing the same thing all over again. All of those types of ways to ask that question I've gotten before. So in this lesson, I'll go through a couple of ideas that you can use to challenge yourself. Also, the way that I challenge myself right now in my playing or in my journey, because everybody's at different levels or different stages. You know, a baseline may be super easy for me to play, but it might not be. It might be the hardest thing that you're trying to do right now. So how can I get to that next level or what other element that I can use? I won't go too much into it because I'm talking about it in this lesson. So I just wanted you to understand the concept and the context of where I was going when this lesson starts. It was actually a part of a live stream. So if you guys don't know or are not a part of the live streams, you're missing out so much. Anyway, details down below or on the screen somewhere. Anyway, enjoy the lesson. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is my practice. <laughs> this is what I usually do. I just looped it. I recorded it, looped it. I just played the bass line on top of it. Now I can figure out how to solo. So I'm going to do a, uh, a whole tutorial on a looper pedal as well um, because it's super, super helpful, but it could be tricky to use if you're brand new. Anyway, that's coming soon. This is my practice. Every single time I try to challenge, I try to challenge myself, uh, even if I, it doesn't even matter what area you're in. So say if you're if you're just stuck on the bass line and you're like, Derek, I can't play these chords right now. What are you talking about? What are you doing, dude? Challenge yourself with the bass line. Like it's, it's certain levels to it. As I got better and better and better, I started challenging myself with more and more and more instead of getting stagnant, right? And that's a lot of people's problem. You can think of it in your own creative flow or your own journey, right? You get stuck like, oh man, I don't know where to go. You don't know. You have no idea how many times I get this question. I'm stuck. I don't know how to progress. I don't know how to grow. Boom. This trumps all of that. Every single time you feel like that, challenge yourself with something harder, right? Right now, I'm challenging myself to play Speed Demon by Michael Jackson. I'm challenging my, I probably can't, I probably would never be able to do that, but I'm challenging myself to do it, but I will never know unless I try. Right? It seems like impossible. Uh, what is it? But it's like twice as fast. Twice as fast. Anyway, you guys get the idea, right? I'm challenging myself to that next level. No, no matter what it is, if it's a bass line, if it's conquering, getting a, a warm tone out of my bass. You may say, all right, Derek, I got that. I got the scale. I got the major scale. I got the minor scale. Okay, what's next? Let's bump it up a notch. Challenge yourself to do the next thing. If it's not challenging as far as physically and technically and mentally, and you struggle to play with it, it's not a challenge, or you struggle to play it, it's not a challenge. So go to that next level, play it backwards, right? Play it in a different key. There's so many different elements that you can use to be able to challenge yourself. This is just how I do it, right? There's so many different ways. Now I could I could say, um, all right, Derek, learn the chords. Now learn four note chords. You see what I mean? It may not sound the best of sound great, and I did, I've, I've never even done that before. I'm literally just trying it out. That's why it sounded so terrible. But I'm trying it out now. So three note chords, four note chords, try different positions, different 
inversions of the court. You know what I mean? So there's so many different ideas you, that, you, that you can do and that you can challenge yourself with. I just challenged myself with, okay, I got the baseline. That was my easy step. Chords. That was my semi-easy step. Now, solo over that. That's another... See what I mean? It's a different, it's something different to solo over because it's changing keys. So now I have to think of like, okay, I'm in A flat right now. Okay, now I'm in B. All right, oh, now I'm in A flat. Oh, let's go back to A flat. Okay, let's go back to B. You see what I'm saying? So there's so many different ways you can challenge yourself. Um, even with that, I'm, I'm just playing the modes over here. I'm, you know, being super simple. Yeah, now I'm just being stupid. Okay, so you guys get the idea. Mm -hmm. 